Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to focus on in this video is how to solve a system using the elimination or combination method. Um, so it's referred to, like I said, as an elimination or linear combination uh, method. Basically, it's the same thing. But um, So you have that particular uh, method to solve a system. And then the other main method or main approach is the substitution method. And then there's even other ones. But those are the two um, primary um, approaches to solving a system in algebra is the substitution method and the elimination method. So what we're going to focus on here is the elimination method. Okay, so let's take a look at the steps to solve this particular system um, using the elimination method. Now the first thing you want to do is when we have our system here is you want to make sure that your variables are lined up. Okay, so what do I mean? Okay, so here we have 5x plus 5y equals negative 10. You want to make sure that all your x's are in a one column, okay? And then over here you have all your y's. Uh, it doesn't make a difference if it's y's or x's or w's and z's, as long as the same variables uh, lined up. And then of course you have your numbers over here, okay? So you have to uh, start off by ensuring that everything's uh, lined up, okay? Everything's grouped appropriately, so you have all your x's, all your y's, and all your numbers. So if your system isn't in that format, you want to go ahead and just rewrite it. Um, such that it is. Okay, so once it's in that format, the next thing you want to do, um, the the first step is you want to create or look for opposites. Okay, now what do I mean? So here we have, you're looking at the x's and a y. So here we have an x and here we have our other x term, okay, an other equation. And here's a y term and here is the other y term. So what we're wanting to do is create opposites between these terms, okay, between this group and this group, okay, and we're looking at these x's and we're looking at these y's independently. Now, let me just give you some examples. So let's say I had 6x um, in my first equation and negative 6x. Well, that's an opposite, okay, so that's what I'm looking for, um, two opposite uh, pairs. Or let's say here I have 5y in my first one, but here I have y, so that's not an opposite, but if I had a negative 5y, that would be an opposite, okay? Negative 2x, what would be the opposite of that? 2x, okay? Uh, 10w, the opposite of that would be negative 10w. Now, we're not lucky enough, oftentimes, to have these opposites uh, laid out for us. Sometimes we do, but more likely we don't. So here, let me uh, go ahead and tell you specifically what I mean, okay? Let's say we had, this was negative 5y, okay? So if we had a negative 5y, we'd be like, wow, okay, we're lucky, okay, because right here we have um, two opposite pairs. So it would be set. Unfortunately, we don't have that, right? <laughs> so we're going to have to um, create some opposites is what we're basically going to have to do. So it's no big deal. Um, when you don't have two opposite pairs, what you have to do is say, all right, how can I create two opposite pairs? So if I look at the x's, Okay, I'm looking here at the x's, and I look at my y's. I'm saying, okay, which would be easier? Um, uh, what which would be the easier variable to create an opposite pair? Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about as far as creating it, uh, this is what I mean. Okay, you can take these equations. Let's take this first one: 5x plus 5y equals negative 10, right? And I could change that equation around any way I want. Um, by multiplying or dividing everything in that equation by a number. So for example, if I wanted to, I can just rewrite this equation this way. Okay, I can take a 3 and I can multiply it by everything in that equation. And that becomes 15x plus 15y equals negative 30. Okay, these two equations here are equivalent. I didn't break anything because I multiplied the same number by everything. So I can manipulate the way these equations look Okay, based upon my, my needs, my desires, if you will. So if you look at it, I'm going to go back to my y's. This is a 5y. Well, wouldn't it be nice to have maybe a negative 5y right there? Okay, if that y was a negative 5y, I would have opposites. So to do that, what I'm going to do is say, all right, how can I get that y to be a negative 5y? Well, why don't we just multiply a negative 5 uh, by the entire thing, and I'll end up with negative 5y. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be our first equation, 5x plus 5y equals negative 10. 
And our second equation is going to be, okay, I have to multiply everything by negative 5. So this will be negative 15x minus 5y, okay, and that's the whole idea of multiplying by negative 5. And this would be negative 20. All right, so now we're in good shape, okay? Because now I have opposites, and this is where the elimination um, uh, part of the, the name of this particular method comes in. Because we're going to eliminate these y variables from this, and we're going to do this by combining these two equations. So remember I said um, this method is called the elimination or linear combination method. So what we're going to do is kind of sandwich these <laughs> equations together. We're going to add down. Okay, so you're going to add these together, you're going to add these together, you're going to add these together, and we're going to write our answers right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. We're going to get 5x plus a negative 15x gives me negative 10x. Just be careful with these positive and negative numbers. 5y plus a negative 5y gives me 0. Guess what? They have been eliminated. Okay, so they're gone. So negative 10x is equal to negative 10 plus negative 20. That's negative 30. Now check out what you're left with. You have negative 10x equals negative 30. That's a super easy equation to solve. X is going to be equal to, what I'm going to do is divide negative 10 by both sides. All right, I'm just going to take this step. All right, so X is equal to a positive 3. And I'm done, right? So like, wow. Okay, so all I need now to solve this system is to figure out what Y is. So what Y is going to be, okay, let me erase this. I have X now. Let's use a different color. So I have what x is equal to. So to figure out what y is going to be, you could take that x value, x equals 3, and plug it in to any of your original equations. Okay, so x is equal to 3. So I could plug it in right here or plug it in right there, that 3, and solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on this equation. So it's 3x. But now, remember, x is equal to 3. So I'm going to plug in 3 right there plus y equals 4. And I get 9 plus y equals 4. Now I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides of the equation. I'm going to get y is equal to negative 5. And I'm done. Okay, I just solved the system using the elimination method. My um, uh, coordinate, or my solution, uh, the point where these two lines intersect, which is the solution, is x is 3 and y is negative 5. OK, so that's a pretty cool method, uh, elimination, uh, linear combination method. Um, it's just as good as the substitution, and you want to know both, okay, because there will be times where it's easier to solve a system one way or another. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out. Please come by our site, algebratesthelper.com, for uh, many more videos and other awesome tutorials, all designed to make math easy to learn. All right, so take care, and good luck.